So welcome to this Future Music Magazine video on exploring logic with Anna from Mystic Circuits. In this video we'll explore making new modulation, new rhythms, new harmonies and melodies, all out distortion and audio mangling and some nicer audio processing as well, all from exploring this logic in Anna. Now Anna has two inputs with bipolar level control or two inputs called sum that avoid the level control and let us use these as voltage offsets to mix in with the inputs. We then have six outputs, a min, which computes the minimum of the two input voltages, a max, which computes the maximum of two input voltages, and VCA, which computes an XOR or multiplication of the two input voltages, like a ring modulator. Mag computes the difference between the two inputs, step performs a track and hold based, smooth stepped process between the two inputs, and box performs a bipolar comparator process resulting in a free level square wave. Let's dive into some patches and see what we can get out of this logic. So in this patch, we're using Anna to take two inputs and give us a new modulation output. The blue and the yellow traces are triangle LFOs that are coming into input one and two. I've adjusted their levels and the input. And we're currently taking the max output, which is this green trace on the Mordax data. And this will trace the maximum voltage between the two signals. So if I pull down bits of my patch, and hard left and hard right are signals controlled by these LFOs. Speed one up. Now in the center channel, the max output is pulling that maximum and giving us a third output. Now together, with a little reverb this creates a nice simple washy drone sound just listening to our output from Anna the sound that that's controlling let's try the different outputs here's minimum and this will trace whatever the minimum voltage between these two inputs is VCA performs an XOR function between them. Step is like a track and hold. And box we can use as gates, but it gives us three different levels of pulses a positive, negative, and a kind of through the middle. So in this patch, we're going to explore getting PWM, unison, and 1980s super saw-like tones from a couple of oscillators. One as an LFO, and one as a standard VCO. So dropping this down, I have a saw wave, which is the blue trace, and the yellow trace just kind of wobbling around on data there is an LFO. These are going to the two inputs, and this green trace is my output. You can see this LFO swinging this saw wave around. Let's open up my low pass gate so you can just hear this fully. I'm going to play with the rate of the LFO. Here we can lock into some great audio rate tones there as well. We can actually drive these inputs and clip and distort them as well. Which can work great when we 
miss sequencing some bass lines. However, I'm going to back these off. Keep the levels a little bit more conservative. Now let's get a sequence into my oscillator that is the audio rate saw wave. And you can hear it's got this kind of juicy, wet, not quite super saw, but PWM like movement to it. Let's play around with the rate of the LFO that this is modulating. And we're coming out of the mag output here. I'm going to make that modulating LFO or oscillator, the bottom one here on the CSL, track the same pitch sequence. There's some nice almost vibrato like pitch tracking effects there. Closing my low pass gate striking that with an envelope, bit of reverb. So in this patch we're exploring creating rhythms with logic functions. Now I'm going to kill everything in my patch except two sounds that are triggered by my inputs. This blue trace for a kick and the yellow trace for a hi-hat. So these are my inputs, this is nothing to do with Anna currently. Now by taking these inputs and getting this output, the green output, which is currently the box output from Anna, it's giving me this snare rhythm that I'll add in now. Just put rhythms. But I've come into the sum inputs instead of the two actual normal inputs that these levels control. And when we do that, we can use these as offsets to adjust the voltages going into the logic. So let's play with adding offsets to these two inputs and see what rhythm that gives us from this snare. So in this part of the video, we're going to explore more audio rate overtones and processing. And by taking two inputs and taking the VCA out, which gives us an XOR bipolar VCA like function, we're effectively getting ring modulation. So I'm going to bring up the rate of this input, the wobbly fast LFO one at the minute, yellow, against this blue one and the green trace at the bottom is our output. We're just listening to this drone straight out of Anna. You can hear that it's really easy to tune in some nice musical tones. And flicking this in and out with a low pass gate. There's a lot of great sound design to be had from that. Let's check out some of the other outputs. Let's try Max. Quite a different tone. Min. Mag. Box. Really hairy pulse wave. step. He's giving us a kind of down sampling vibe. So that's just two sine waves from an oscillator 
the different outputs on Anna, and a ton of potential tones to play with in your patches. And you can do this at sub audio rates as well. So let's drop these levels right down. And here we're using it to modulate the filtering and folding of an oscillator. So again, a ton of potential exploration to be had for modulation as well as audio. So in this final patch, we're taking two sequences, quantizing them for two supplementary, complementary voices, merging those two sequences in Anna and creating a third sequence. Now let's kind of back everything off, get everything wide open in terms of low pass gates and VCAs. We'll let everything just drone through. So here are my two inputs to Anna, quantized signals, pan hard left and hard right. Now by putting these in Anna and taking the step out, I'm creating a new complementary melody, which is in mono pan right down the middle. So as with the rest of this video, make sure you're listening in stereo for the hard pan bits. And in mono, here's the signal and sequence that Anna's creating. Kind of supplementary bass line. Now playing around with the levels. We get different bass lines. Let's try some different outputs. Box will just give us the three different pulse waves. Max, Min, back to step. Now let's get all of these plucking, being struck through low pass gates, all with the same 16th note rhythm. Add a little bit of reverb and Anna is serving as a perfect little complementary harmony generator giving us a third sequence from two step sequences at the input. Thanks for watching this future music magazine video on Anna, analog logic from Mystic Circuits and exploring new rhythms, new melodies, harmonies, New modulation, new audio tones, ring modulation, and all out distortion, all from Anna. Check out more Future Music Magazine modular monthly videos on this channel and stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching.